Do you love yourself first? In the last few weeks, we talked about who the most important person, the number one person, has to be in your life, and that's you. And then we talked about why you need to love yourself first. Not just love yourself, but love yourself first. Today, I'm going to tell you how to love yourself, because you know what? It's more than just sitting in a bathtub with meditation music or going for walks. How do you love yourself first? Well, you got to begin with the realization you're a holistic being. You're not a bunch of separate parts. Your body, your mind, and your spirit all interplay with each other. And you need to take care of all of them to really experience optimal well-being. Now, I'm going to start out someplace that you may or may not be aware is going on in the world that is really driving your degree of health, of happiness, even your mental health, your emotional well-being, and that's food. We're going to start with Jamie Oliver, on his TED Talk, well, Jamie Oliver is a chef, and he focuses on educating parents to educate their kids about food. And he has a number of talks, TED Talks, and you can find them on YouTube. And what he's talking about is how your food impacts your well-being. This isn't new. You'll find it every place in science. It has been well hidden for decades, but now it's coming out. Unless you live under a rock, you know about what you eat, your microbiome. But here's the startling information that you may not be aware of. In his TED Talk on obesity, Jamie Oliver begins with, I want to read this so I'm sure that I get it accurate. Sadly, in the next 18 minutes, when I do our chat, four Americans that are alive will be dead from the food they eat. Do you know that science is creating ways to trick your brain into thinking you're hungry, into liking food that not only has no nutritional value, but actually damages you. That in America, one in five deaths is the cause of obesity. So how are you going to love yourself first? You're going to educate yourself about what's good food. I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to pay for chemicals. I buy food. I buy fruits. I buy vegetables. I buy pastured meats and poultry and eggs. That's all I buy. I don't buy anything that comes in the package. I don't buy anything that's processed. Because when you do that, you know what? Companies don't have to put full out labels of the ingredients on them. Now, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, told us, let food be thy medicine and let thy medicine be thy food. More than, or about 20 years ago, Dr. Barry Sears created the Zone Diet. And what he let us know is the most powerful hormones in our body are the food that we eat. I was privileged oh, about 16 years ago to meet Paul Zane Pilser. He's the author of The Next Trillion, among many other books. He's an economist. And what I learned from him was the food industry employs scientists to investigate what about food attracts you so that they can create foods that you're attracted to. They actually alter the food chemically to get you addicted. And they also use all these psychological tricks to get you addicted to stuff it's no way, no how, good for you. And not only is it good for you, it's very, very bad for you. The U.S. ranks below third world countries 
in health. We're one of the unhealthiest countries in the world. In fact, of the Western world, 25 countries, we're number 25. So you got to be aware, not just of all these chemicals going on, but fake food. I know I was at somebody's house and they were serving something cooked in olive oil. Most of the olive oil out there is fake. It's real low-grade oil with some green coloring in it. Yeah, that's the truth. You can find that all over the web to get accurate information on what's safe oil. And the top chefs will also fill you in on those details. This stuff tasted horrible. And most people thought it was a good olive oil because it's a name brand. Oh, that makes it good? I don't think so. Also, there's all kinds of fake foods out there. <laughs> Would you believe even you know, things like lettuce? you got to educate yourself. I don't know about you, but I want to get food when I pay for food. So to take care of you so that you can really enjoy yourself, I want you to educate yourself. And I have a gift for you that you'll find below this video. So let me move on to the next area. It's really vital that you get enough sleep. You see, sleep is the only time that your body can repair the cells that need repairing and replacing. It's the only time your brain can detox. And the mess that accumulates in a brain that can't detox, it creates the amyloid plaque that shows up. In Alzheimer's. Want to avoid that? Pay attention to your sleep so that you're getting quality sleep. Now somewhere around the age of two, your body recognizes you're not getting enough sleep. And you know what it does? It starts shutting down your organ systems. Yeah, this happens starting around the age of two so that over time, more and more your systems are shutting down, creating the conditions and the discomforts and the illness that unknowing doctors call aging. Aging's a lifestyle result. You're in charge. You're in control of your life and your well-being. Now another area that's really critical to your health is exercise. you got to get up and move. I listen to a lot of podcasts, I watch a lot of documentaries, I read a lot. Frankly, I'm addicted to learning. I love to learn. And I couldn't believe the other day I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about some doctors who were telling their patients, well, of course you need a hip replacement. You've been doing too much exercise. It's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Your hip was designed to create healthy new cartilage, to create healthy bones by using it. If you're not using it, it's going to deteriorate. And there are healthy exercises and there are not healthy exercises. And exercise is a science you got to be careful who you listen to and who you follow. Again, all this information will be in the gift that I have for you that you'll pick up below this video. Now, we live in a very stressful world. It's just kind of hard to avoid. But you can't avoid it. What you can do is learn how to deal with it. So a really, really important part of your well-being is being able to turn off all the noise in your world to go within. Now, I've been meditating for almost 20 years. No, longer than that, more like 30 years. And I don't know where I go when I meditate, but I know I get a lot of answers, and I know I feel amazing, and I know I do transcendental meditation. But there are more than 500 studies proving the health benefits from transcendental meditation. Again, you'll find a link of why it's important and how to get started in the gift that I have for you. Okay, so what else is important? You gotta be happy. 
You want to smile. Your posture makes a matter. How you stand, how you sit, changes how much oxygen goes into your lungs. And when your lungs can expand, you get more oxygen in. That helps your brain and body to function better. Smiling is really important. Now, being happy and having something to be happy about, that's a habit to create. And you can go over to the happysharemovement.com and you'll discover why it's important to be happy. And also, how you can be happy first. Because you don't do things. Things don't happen in your life. And then that makes you happy. That's backwards. When you start from a place of happy, your world works. And a great way to live in a place of being happy is gratitude. When you're grateful for everything, every big thing and every little thing in your life, the universe sees you're being grateful. And it sends you more things for which to be grateful. And your life just gets better and better and better. Now here are some things that you don't know about yourself, and I do know from my work as a healthcare practitioner, as a specialized kinesiologist. And these are things, chances are, your doctor has no clue about these things. Your atlas, the ring that you hold your head on, if it gets out of alignment, then it impinges the nerves. It's impossible for your body to function properly when nerves are being impinged because ner nerves connect to organ systems. So if things are going wrong in your body, the first place to look is your atlas. And a regular doctor doesn't know about an atlas. In fact, most chiropractors don't know about an atlas or what to do. You gotta find an orthospinologist or an atlas doctor who knows what he's doing because if they don't know, boy, can they hurt you. Boy, can a massage therapist hurt you when they don't know what they're doing around their neck because they can set your atlas out. Most people are dehydrated and it doesn't have as much to do with how much water you're drinking. You need to drink water and your body needs to assimilate and use actually use the benefits of the water. You'll find a link to my water talk down in the gift that I have for you. Also your jaw, your jaw joint. Yeah, it's up here, but do you know what? You can have a problem with your ankle or with your foot or with your knee and that could be happening because your jaw's out of alignment. You could be having a problem with your memory or your thinking or ADD or ADHD because your jaw's out of alignment. All of these things are things that you can do something about so that you can have the best possible life. Your life and your happiness and your success depend on you loving yourself enough to make the effort to educate yourself on how to take care of every aspect of your life. I wish you love and I wish you happiness. Because you know what? Be well and happy and in the end, nothing else matters. You can go down below this video, you can click the link, and it will take you to the gift I have for you, which has a bunch of links and information to get more detail on what I've covered so far today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.